hello today we are going to learn how to make the wagon wheel doily yay this is worked in motif and I wanted to take advantage of the beautiful sunny weather so we have a different location today so let's get into it as is always the case I'm going to use my chunky instructional yarn now this would be worked with a thread number 10 size crochet thread and you're going to want to use a size 5 steel hook yeah that's what I'm talking about now if you hold your hook like that you it's not going to cut it when you're working with thread you're going to have to hold it like a pencil and that's what this little flat part right here is for for it to rest on your thumb now if you don't want to use that and you want something that has more grip get one that has a wide handle base those are fantastic okay so here we go we're going to chain 10 and slip stitch to form a ring so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right then we're going to wheel it around and make a slip stitch in that first chain to make a ring just like that number 10 thread comes in a little spool like that this is a hundred percent mercerized cotton you do want to use mercerized this came from Hobby Lobby isn't that a pretty color now for round one we're going to do 14 double crochet in that ring so the first double crochet is going to be a chain three one two three so there's number one so now we're going to put 13 in the ring I'll do the first couple with you and then I'm going to turn it off and come back to you when I'm finished with putting them all in the ring as is always your tail yarn you want to work that under your stitch all right so there's your first second double crochet and then here's the third now I'm going to finish I need to put 10 more double crochet in that ring and I'll come back once I get that finished okay I have my first my 14 double crochet in the ring now I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join that'll let me all right so for round two we're going to chain five one two three four five that counts for the first double crochet and your first chain two space so now we're going to do that all the way around let's double crochet in the next space so it's going to be double crochet chain two double crochet chain two all the way around all right so let's look at that we'll go into the first double crochet okay so there's a double crochet let's chain two see how that's working now we're going to do another double crochet into that next double crochet in the round below chain two see we're going to do that all the way around in each stitch on the previous round and this is exaggerated in size because of the chunky yarn but I love to use that for instructional videos because it just shows up so well you would never be able to see thread if I were using thread okay so I'm going to continue around with my double crochet chain two and when I finish I'll come back okay so I've completed my chain two double crochet all the way around now if you remember this first space was a double crochet and a chain two 
So we're going to slip stitch into the third chain. That way I'll still leave that two chain space. And that is round two completed. Now we're going to round three. So now we need to, our starting point needs to be from this first chain two space. So we're just going to slip stitch into that in order to move our thread over. We're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That counts as the first double crochet and three chain space. Okay, so we have three of those as a double crochet and then the other three is going to make our chain three space. So our pattern going around is going to be double crochet and next chain two space. Chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to do that all the way around. Double crochet and next chain two space. Chain three. One, two, three. Okay, so just do that all the way around and I'll finish and come back. Okay, so we finished our double crochet in chain two space, chain three, and we've got all the way back around to the beginning. So we're going to do our last chain three. And then we're going to slip stitch into the third chain on the previous round to join. Now, for the final round, round four, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to put five double crochets in each chain three space around. Okay, so that's going to be quite a few double crochets. So let's get started with that. So there's one, two, my yarn's hanging up in my little basket over here, so I have to keep pulling on it, three, four, five, all right, so I'm going to go to this next chain three space and do five double crochet one two three four five all right so you want to go you're going to want to do that in each chain three space all the way around I'll come back when I'm finished. So I completed five double crochets in each chain three space around and I'm just going to slip stitch to that first double crochet just like that and then leave a pretty good length tail, cut that and fasten off. Now here's another trick that is essential. Get a smaller crochet hook. I got with this one. Flip your work over and we're going to work in this tail yarn. I'm going to show you how to do it. So there's a crossbar right here right behind that last stitch. I go under that, pull up a loop, and then just pull my tail yarn all the way through to form a little knot. I'm going to pull it up pretty good, pretty tight. And then I'm just going to work that tail yarn into these stitches. So you just find random loops that you can pull that under. And you're just going to hide that tail yarn. You want to put as much of that hidden as you can. You don't want to just cut it off because it'll unravel. So you can see how I'm just going underneath these loops in the back and just pulling it through. And this is how you do it with any project that you're working on. So 
It's always easier to do a smaller hook than what you were doing your work with so you can get underneath those stitches. All right, see how pretty that is? Can't even tell. And I got enough under there that I feel confident I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. Now I need to make another one of these so I can show you how to join the motifs. Okay, so I've made it to round four on my second motif. And I never like to start a join on the first part after you've started the row. So I went ahead and did uh, five double crochet in the first two, chain three. So now we're going to do our joining stitch. So the first thing you need to do is get your completed motif and you're going to find and a five double crochet cluster in that in a chain three space and you're going to put your hook right there in the first double crochet and then instead of a slip stitch to connect I'm going to take this loop from my second motif and just pull that through to me that's just a much cleaner join than a slip stitch and then you're going to continue on with your five double crochet in the next chain three space all right so there's one two three four and five now I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to pull that loop up so it'll hold there and then I'm going to go into the last the fifth double crochet in that section so there's one two three four five I'm going to insert the hook into the top of that double crochet and I'm going to grab that loop from my second motif and pull that up and then continue on with my five double crochet in the next chain three space so let's let's just see how that looks so there you have a nice clean join and you can join these however you want on this doily I chose to join three in a row. You want to have ten double crochet between each join so it'll leave a little space there. You could even use this chunky and make a rug out of it. So that's the wagon wheel motif doily. The wagon wheel doily.